Assalamu alaikum. My name is Hassan Mukhtar. I read in class 4 Alpha. Today we discuss on characteristics of living things. There are many characteristics of living things. For example, grow, move, respire, create and use energy, reproduce, excrete, made up of cells. Grow. A living thing can grow. I am growing because I am living thing. No, non-living thing cannot grow. The second, now I tell you second characteristic is move. A living thing can move. My hands are moving. Non-living thing cannot move. Because they have no energy to moving. The th now I tell you the third characteristic is respire. Respire means take breath. A living thing take breath. Animals and human beings take breath with mouth and nose. And plants take breath with stomata. Stomata are the tiny holes on the leaves of plant. Stomata are very small. We cannot see stomata with our eyes. We can see with the help of microscope. Now I tell you the fourth characteristic is get and use energy. Living thing get and use energy. I get energy and I use energy. Human being, we get energy from food and food comes from plants and other animals. And plants get energy from sunlight, photosynthesis. The process of making food in plant is called photosynthesis. In photosynthesis, plants use three things. Water, sunlight, carbon dioxide. Now I tell you fifth characteristic, reproduce. Reproduce means increase in number. A living thing can reproduce. The sixth characteristic is excrete. Excrete means remove the waste. A living thing excrete. Non-living thing cannot remove the waste because they have no waste. Now I tell you the seventh characteristic is made up of cells. A living thing made with cells. I made with cells. Now I tell you the two types of cells. Animal cell and plant cell. And what is cell? Cell is the basic unit of life. Cells are very small. We cannot see cell with our eyes. We can see cell with the help of microscope. Now I tell you the difference between animal cell and plant cell. There are three main differences in plant cell and animal cell. Vacuole, chloroplast, cell wall. Vacuole. In plant cell there, there is a large central vacuole and in animal cell there are many small vacuole. Chloroplast. Chloroplast is present in plant cell and absent in animal cell. Cell wall. Cell wall is absent in animal cell and present in plant cell. Now I tell you the function of cell organelles. Cell membrane. In the animal cell here you see cell membrane. And in plant cell here you see cell membrane. Cell me now I tell you the function of cell membrane. Cell membrane is outer covering of plant and animal cell. It allows material move in and out of the cell. Nucleus. Here you, see, here you see nucleus. And here you see nucleus. Now I tell you the function of nucleus. All the activities of cell is controlled by nucleus. Cell wall. The outermost covering of plant cell is cell wall. It support and protect plant cell. Vacuole. Vacuole is present in both cells. In plant cell, there, are, there is large central vacuole and in animal cell, there are many small vacuoles. Now I tell you the function of vacuole. It stores water, food and waste in pl plant and animal cell. Cytoplasm. And plant cell, there is cytoplasm. C cytoplasm is jelly-like material that fill, fills the cell. Now I tell you chloroplast. Here is the chloroplast. Chloroplast. It is just present in plant cell and absent in animal cell. Now I tell you the function of chloroplast. Chloroplast contain a green pigment, chlorophyll which absorbs sunlight. Thanks.